Welcome back. We are now ready to demonstrate applied supine peak positioning. Perhaps in school you learned to position a bolster underneath the legs, perhaps one underneath the neck, and ask your client, how are they doing? And that was the extent of it. Has this ever happened to you? Okay, Sam, let your arm go. Let your arm go. Sam, just pretend you're dead. At Nirvana Ergonomics, we take positioning to a deeper level. There's two components to peak positioning. One is the correct and proper support and alignment of the body. And the second is an active communication with your client. We achieve this through applied peak positioning using the peak position protocol. The peak position protocol is a series of gentle but precise techniques to be performed in a specific sequence before your normal treatment begins. When applied correctly, this protocol will improve treatment outcomes by properly supporting and encouraging better alignment of the body and increasing relaxation. Now we're going to have our friend Sam the Skeleton help us as I apply the treatment protocol. We're going to use our friend because we can see the bony structures much more clearly on our models who on our model who will be coming up next. We begin with the arm and again this time we make sure the client understands to relax the arm and what that feels like. And underneath release the scapula to make sure you understand the theory and the practical sides of peak positioning, we will alternate between the theoretical view using our skeleton, Sam, and the practical view using our live models. I'm going to start with the left arm, and we're just going to give our cue for the client to relax and let their arm go. Underneath to the shoulder blade, make sure this is relaxed and positioned properly. Moving down to the pelvis area, we locate the ASIS, anterior superior iliac spine, and give a little rock. In the lumbar region, we check for any areas of tension, and we can also check the degree of the lumbar curve while we're here. Pressure and rocking. Lumbar spine, a little bit of kneading, and just checking for any areas of tension and tightness. Most people find supine position to be very comfortable. Occasionally, you'll find people with tight hip flexors who still can't get comfortable in, in this position. This can be caused by tight hip flexors, the psoas muscles, which actually stretch from the lumbar region to the lesser trochanter. I, I know some of you like to get in there and work, and it hurts me just to think about that. Of course, on our skeleton, is very easy to access. We're going to show you some stretches that you can actually do on the table without having someone directly access your psoas muscle. But to help with peak positioning for your clients, we're going to use the Nirvana wedges to give a little bit of support underneath the lower back to make them more comfortable. To relieve a little bit of pressure, we don't need to insert them very deep, and that will alleviate a tight hip flexor muscle. Just one on each side. You just need to place just a little bit to take the pressure off in the lumbar region. And moving down the leg, we'll do our hip rotations and gentle traction, supporting the knee. We're going to check rotation in the hip, traction, and position right behind the knee. At this point, you should connect the observations that you made earlier on the feet about the uh, tracking or any other variations that you observed. We're going to move over to the right leg now, and again, Lift and check the rotation in the hip, traction, and position. 
And you'll see on our model, he doesn't have too much soft tissue, so he has lots of postural variations on his feet. And I'm going to show you, moving up the other side, a stability support, even for Sam, who has no musculature, we can get his leg in neutral position so we can work perfectly on all the different aspects. Wow, that is excellent position for any type of work that you may need to do on the leg. Moving up, we're going to do exactly the same thing on his other arm, going underneath the shoulder blade to the right arm. We're ready to make the cue for the arm and to the shoulder blade. And to the head and neck region. And into the cervical region, we'll remove our bolster. What's great about the Nirvana table, it gives us excellent access to the upper back. And we'll do our little treatment protocol all the way to the occipital ridge, apply a little traction, and check rotation in the neck. Finish with some pressure on the shoulders. Replace our bolstering, have a happy Sam the skeleton, and we remove the bolster, and the Nirvana table allows us great access underneath the neck and back. Release in the thoracic area, working your way to the occipital ridge. Traction and checking restriction and rotation in the neck. And replacing our bolster. Finishing with gentle pressure on the shoulders. That concludes the protocol for supine position. We'll see you next time in side and three-quarter prone position.